Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make Mangalorean style coconut fish curry. It's aromatic, delicious, spicy, tangy and full of flavor. You can enjoy this fish curry with steamed rice or neer dosa, appam and uh, with papad. So let's check out the ingredients. Clean palm fried, cut into thick slices like this and rinse with salt water and then with fresh water and keep them aside. Now let's roast some spices. Here I have coriander seeds, cumin, poppy seeds, ajwain that is carom and black pepper, whole black pepper, mustard seeds, fenugreek seed, berege red chilies and soaked tamarind and Kashmiri chilies. We have to remove seeds from inside dry roast until aromatic please don't burn the spices and once they're nice and fragrant and it's a, a slightly toasted just turn off the flame allow them to cool and transfer this to a grinding jar in the same pan you have to dry roast uh, onion garlic and ginger until the raw smell disappears and transfer this to the chutney grinder now i'm going to add clove and i'll powder the spices first like this to this i'm going to add sauteed onion ginger garlic soaked tamarind soaked rich kashmiri chilies and turmeric powder and salt and add very little water and grind to a smooth paste like this and i'm going to add uh, grated coconut grind for one second and divide into two portions i'm going to grind in batches and adjust the salt and I'm going to add the white vinegar and I'm going to grind to smooth paste like this and add to a heavy bottom pan add water to adjust the consistency of the gravy not too thick not too thin uh, turn on the heat over medium and stir and let the gravy come to a boil and close the lid and let it simmer for five minutes adjust the taste like sweet and spice and salt and everything and cover and let let it simmer for five minutes dash sugar just to adjust the taste and i'm going to add the fish pieces And make sure you mix them gently uh, to cover these pieces with the um, gravy and close the lid and cook for five more minutes now let's give tadka heat oil in a pan add sliced onions and stir and cook until they're nice and golden and fragrant now add curry leaves Pour this tarka over the fish curry. Now delicious mouth-watering fish curry is ready. You can enjoy with white rice, appam, neer dosa or just toasted bread um, and papad. I hope you like this recipe guys. Love you and God bless you. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Ciao.